Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Coily P. And today is Saturday, so you know what that means. It is the Saturday sum up. We are gonna chit chat and round up this whole week that I've been through and prepare ourselves for tomorrow, a fresh start. Um, this video is not gonna be long because as you can see, I am driving and I have my kids in the back seat. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this brief. Um, and not say um so many times because we learned in the last Saturday sum up that I say um a whole lot. And, you say laundry a whole lot. and I say laundry a whole lot too. Someone's been watching my videos. Thank you, boo. <laughs> anyway, so um this week, let's see what happened this week. Mm, well, for starters, one of the biggest things that took place this week, something that affected a lot of people all over America the world really um was when the trump supporters stormed capitol hill when they stormed the capitol building it was crazy these trump supporters they were able to rush a federal building not just rush a federal building they came there with weapons they were very violent I just really could not believe my eyes. I could not believe it. My heart was literally crushed. And then to um, watch the footage of the lady who got shot, that was, it was just all heartbreaking. And while, you know, um, I do not support Trump in any way, shape or form, um, while I have my stance and my views, at the end of the day, I don't want to see others hurt. Got that? I, I don't want to see someone else get killed or whatever. I don't want to see it. I do want justice to be served, and that could be jail time. That could be anything else, but I don't support murder. I don't support, you know, the hatred. I don't support that. That's not what I've been raised on, and that's not what I teach, and that's not what I support. So, you know, when the young lady was, was killed, that really hurt me. It just left me so stunned because she went out there and they were climbing, she was climbing through that window of the Capitol building and was literally got through the window and was shot in the, in the, I believe they set her neck. And it wasn't just her, it was a couple of other people who I heard were shot, some who died. It was just a really sad experience. And that really just, that was just a lot for me. But do understand that I do not, that, that, oh my gosh, I was fully not in agreement. I did not like how um, the police, the people of authority, we were supposed to be protecting and they were actually supporting and they were helping and they were, they were egging it on and it was just terrible. The whole thing was just bad and it made me really just lose that much more faith in our justice system, that much more faith in the people who, you know, are supposed to, supposed to protect and serve us and I don't know. I have so many feelings about the topic. I don't want to go too deep into it because it's, it can get very deep in regards to how I feel. I'm trying to keep a surface level because I do have my daughter in the car and we have not had a conversation about it yet. So, hang on, my son. My son's falling apart. I'll be right back. My, my, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, my son, you know poor baby but anyways um yeah so i have not had a conversation with my daughter she is seven years old and the topic is extremely sensitive and so um i definitely would i i do want to take the opportunity to really dive into the into it but right now probably it's not the best time for my family um i need to be able to talk to her about it in her language and help her to understand that way she's not you know stressed and worried about things that she shouldn't be but um so that was one thing that took place this week that was really just like just unbelievable so something that was really good for me this week is um on monday um boss friends my boss friends we met up and we were on clubhouse we had our meeting and it was great we talk about business, we talk about boss moves, so business moves, boss moves. Gario. Yeah. Calm down, son. No, 
Like, come on, we, yep, we gotta go. So, um, we talked about we it is in this meeting every week on Monday. We talk about business moves, boss moves. We talk, we give motivation and inspiration. We just talk about anything that may um be great, you know, add to you as a person and also your business. And we we support each other, and it's just a really virtual a really great virtual family these meetings have been going so great but this past week that we just had um it was really really awesome because we had a lot of engagement more people came and joined in and you know i just love to see it grow the way it's going and i just i just love all of this whole you know let's network and grow together and help each other grow um, we've been held, holding each other accountable the particulars group so it's so the that's the information about the clubhouse meeting that we have every week on Mondays at 8 8 or 8 p.m. excuse me but then there's a particular group of ladies that I linked with that we, you know we decided that we were gonna even start this weekly thing that group of girls um, or excuse me women really they are such great women and I am actually going to put their names somewhere on this video because they are youtubers and well they're youtubers and they have instagram businesses as well so i'm gonna put all of their information in this video in the description box because they are some really dope chicks we hold each other accountable uh, we encourage each other laugh it's just all fun it's all it's a whole good time it's really my very first virtual family that i'm just like I can't wait to chat with them. I can't wait to check in and tell them this good news. I can't wait to, you know, share my wins and also the struggles and ask questions. Like today I had a question about how, well, how do I share my, my channel, my YouTube channel with not just Instagram and Facebook? Like how, where do I go next? Like, and I was able to get some really good information and good advice. And so anyways, that was, um, those those women are some really cool women and you know just having that weekly meeting and you know being being able to check in it's really it's really great sometimes i struggle because um it's a monday night and monday nights mondays are kind of tough especially having having the kids but i make it my business to at least pop in and give my two cents, hear what, what others have to say, add to the conversation as much as I possibly can, and, you know, be a part of it. You know, I, I try to make it my business to be a part. Sorry, y'all, I literally just lost my light, but I have to drive, and I have to go this way <laughs> into the dark. So I'm going to continue talking, even though you may not see me. If you do, matter of fact, I'm just going to stop right here at this light because it's turning <laughs> perfect so I can kind of get a little bit of I don't know but anyways having that to look forward to it's really exciting and it keeps me excited about my goals and my business plans and my YouTube career and everything it keeps me excited so um also let's see anything else this week Everything else was pretty typical. I did record a few videos. I, uh, I scheduled some um, and I uploaded a few. I've been sticking to the calendar. So um, if you were, if you checked out my get ready with me and my January goals, you see that you will know that I have a calendar that I put together of um, the things that I would like to record on what day. And I have been sticking to the calendar. So pat on the back because that can get kind of tough. I have had a I think two late posts but they were only a day late you know a couple hours really because you know but um that's really good this week was good in regards to as you know filming and um or recording and you know posting I have been active on Instagram so that's been good my I'm almost to my goal for watch hours for the month of January I am still pushing to reach that goal for the subscribers and so I think I have 22 watch hours and my goal for January was 30 watch hours. I have 64 subscribers and my goal for January is 100. So, you know, I'm almost to my goal. You know, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. I'm just trying to keep active and, um, you know, but 
Uh, I do want to say I do appreciate you guys' support with all of this um, this this new business plan ventures shebang that I got going on. Um, I set a goal and I'm going to reach my goal, but I can't do it without you. I can't do it without support from all of my lovely fans, subscribers, and family and everybody. Just, you know, anytime you come on the channel, make sure that you're liking the videos, you're, um, you're commenting, you're en engaging in, in conversation with me. Um, listen, I need y'all. I need y'all so much. And in order for me to reach my goal, I need this, this, this content to be shared. I need it to be watched. And I really know, I, I trust that you guys are going to have my back on this because, um, y'all are great and i know that y'all are great so i really appreciate all y'all's love though i know that this 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 saturday sum up is not really relaxed and sitting and relaxing at home i'm actually trying to i'm home now i had a lot going on and the evening is literally just beginning so i said let me get it in while i can so we're gonna get out yeah we can call lala um I just want to thank you once again for your love and support with everything that you guys have been doing and just continue to to be a part of this journey with me but miss coily p signing out